I was saying, would, wouldn't it be lovely? The Eliza Doolittle, yes. And every time I talk at home like this, Sheldon tells me you sound just like Eliza Doolittle. All right, where do we want to start today? Oh. At the very beginning. Jesus. The best uh, very good place to start. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Name the musical. Sound of, Sound of music. music. By yeah. the way, wait a minute. There's an article about the Sound of <coughs> Music. They're re-releasing. Wait, let me find it. Let me find it. Let me Are find it. Are they remaking it? it? I, no, they're redoing like all the music. Wait. Why? I gotta find it. I don't know. Why how you? weird it's is that? That we won, just like every Oscar I know, imaginable. But... <laughs> What's this yesterday? You got to well, go back to the well because they have talk the ideas. Talk amongst yourselves yeah. while I find this. Okay. You know, uh, <laughs> did you ever, anybody ever do the, the Sound of Music in high school? Anybody, no. anybody? No. I was Herr Zeller. Ooh. Oh. Who was the Nazi, not Rolf. Oh. The, I was Rolf's yeah. boss. Of course he was. Oh, oh, the guy that comes to the house? Oh, the guy that comes to the house. Oh, and I got to talk like this. <laughs> so I guess we are an <laughs> audio like only podcast today. Oh, yeah. Because I don't see the cameras following us. Oh, there yeah. it is. We missed the first two minutes of you guys singing. Oh, here's here it is. We here also, it is. Oh, we got the totally audio. I'm not worried about it. In the middle of what he was saying. That's right. <laughs> Thank, yeah. you. Thank you, Gandhi, for pointing that out. You're welcome. I would like to hear more about you being Hair Zeller in your accent. Yeah, somewhere out there, there's a photo of me with a swastika on my arm. Stop. 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 Fantastic. It was the cast photo, and of course, you know wherever. they got costumes yeah. from yeah. wherever. And there's me with a swastika. I'm <laughs> like, oh, oh god, I can never gosh. run for public oh, office. I knew it. I think we've talked about this before. What? No, go ahead, Scotty. I'm I sorry. I said I knew it. <laughs> I'm not a Nazi. And by the way, uh, you, maybe I should have. It was a good thing that I cut Nate off. No. no. Okay. Right. I think Nazis. it's important. You so knew he was going to talk about Nazis? If this photo ever surfaces of you, yeah. we know the context behind it, and we can easily step in and be like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Now we know. But also, I have swastikas all over my house because yeah, they're, they're actually Indian. Yeah. yeah, they're a big part of Hinduism. They represent a welcome, good luck, like all these different things. The Nazis took it, turned it on its side, and turned it into this bad thing. But if you yeah. go to any Hindu temple anywhere, you're going to see them. And people get really upset. Even the word swastik is actually, a, it's not Hindi, it's a Sanskrit. So, But good well, luck really trying to explain know. that to yeah, people. Yeah, me either. I don't care. Even I though you just know. did. But that's so interesting. I had, and, I had no and by the way, me what, either. what a close-minded fool you'd be to not accept that as, as something that's a good thing. I was in Italy, in, in I learned in Sicily about the swastika, exactly what you just yeah. said. I'm like... Oh, that's cool. It was ours first. It was stolen from us, and now people tell us we can't use it. No. And I'm like, you know what? You can, as Danielle says, go scratch. You yeah. have no idea. <laughs> yeah, but if they see the white guy dressed in a uniform, right. they're not going to be <laughs> like, he's <laughs> Indian. Sure. Right, right. In By the way, also don't wear it as a patch on our arm. <laughs> it is so. newly remastered, super deluxe edition of Sound of Music soundtrack, treating fans at to 40 unreleased songs. Wait a minute. What? I've seen the, sh I've seen the movie. I've seen the musical. I've been in the musical. 40 Says, unreleased songs? Yeah, it's it not only crazy. remixed and remastered the original collection of 16 songs, but added more than 40 previously unreleased tracks. Also included are 11 never-before-heard alternative alternate takes from the cast, oh. led oh. by Julie Andrews and Christopher Plummer. This will oh. all be coming out on December 1st. It's four CDs, Blu-ray audio what? disc. They're making and, CDs? Yeah, this is kind of crazy. Well, these are coming yeah. back. Huh. Yeah. Who knew? By the way, I don't think that was actually Christopher Plummer's voice. No? Didn't he? I think they dubbed him with somebody else. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm pretty certain. So. But, uh, no, interesting. Yeah. I mean, we, they didn't they used to run that on Thanksgiving or Easter or something yeah, like sometime, that? Yeah, sometime, all the time. Yeah, on one holiday. NBC. That By movie the... and My Fair Lady were the only two things, and Bill Nye, that I was allowed to watch when I was little. So <gasps> I have wow. them memorized, like, front to back, <laughs> see, all of it. See, I think that's why you turned out to be such a wild child, because yeah. you were so yeah. repressed as a child. What about oh, Mary Poppins? Terrible. That was Sound of Music-esque. Nope. No. No. Mm. no. Okay. I did my fair lady. I was I I did the cookie accent and talk like oh, this. Oh, you did. And I, sang, and, little. Little. and I sang and I sang wouldn't it be lovely? The Eliza Doolittle. Yes. And every time I talk at home like this, Sheldon tells me you sound just like Eliza Doolittle. Oh, really? You, you sound know. more proper than she. I was Don Quixote in Don Quixote. <laughs> Give us the accent, scary please. Uh, <clears throat> no, but I, I don't know the, the man of La Mancha. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know. I just remember my uh, my lead song. I am I, Don Quixote, the Lord of La Mancha. My destiny calls and I go. And the wild okay, winds are it, calling, so carry. Now it's my turn to I used to fight wind. I, used to, I had to fight windmills. Didn't Did you, you? Like, wasn't there also a really famous song from that? It was not Man of La Mancha. It was, oh, what is the song? I don't know. Oh, God, hang on. I got to find this out. So what, when, when what I did, I did... So I had my nose done one year when I was doing theater years ago. The reason I had my nose done was because I had seen myself in the newspaper 
um, the whole cast of us. And I said, oh, gosh, I just can't stand it. I said, I want to get it done. So I said, well, next year when we do this again, my nose is going to look fantastic in the newspaper. This is going to be great. The next year, I was cast as Pinocchio. Hey! And I, had, <laughs> and I had to wear a prosthetic nose in the photo shoot. Typecasted. So my freaking nose that I had just oh, gotten done and looked so cute Daniel. had to be covered with a prosthetic nose. But now oh. we see it all the time. Now you see it all yeah. the time. So, so Danielle, yeah. we've heard Elmo. We've heard your, your fire. Uh, what's, what does Pinocchio sound like? Did, oh, I just a regular voice. I oh, was you, just Pinocchio. You they like... taped down my boobs. Oh, because they you know, they wanted me to look flat chested. What was it? I got no strings on me. I got no strings to hold me down. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the impossible dream. Did you have to sing that? Dream. The impossible dream. This is all foreign to me. I've never been in a musical. Oh, oh shit. What? I just can't see you ever. What really did you do? Joy. What did you do as a kid? I was a radio geek. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're sorry. I mean, like there were there were plays at school, but I was always wearing the black shirt and jeans and being the light guy. Oh, so that's nice. <laughs> that's you were still cool. involved You're in the production. There, we have a morning show musical. Oh, that would be, be so fun. Great. I'll write it. We should have auditions. <laughs> Gary, what were you? So I was in My Fair Lady, but I went to an all boys school, and you you would meet up with the all girls school, and you kind of put on the show. Yeah. I was one of three guys that was in My Fair Lady. It started out, everybody was like, oh, we're going to team up with the girls' school. Uh, we're going to go and meet some girls. It, it started with 50 guys, got down to three. So I played all, like, the background roles. So I would be a guy, like, walking in the park, and then the next scene I would be the judge, and then I would be the waiter in the following <laughs> scene. <laughs> like, so, like, I, I jump from scene to scene. Like, Costume you know, changes. It, I, I was, it was almost funny. Like, I would walk onto stage and people would laugh because, like, he was just the waiter, like no more than ten uh, seconds they, ago. They, they wrote it into because the show. there wasn't enough guys in the show. Yeah, that's what I mean. They still do that on Broadway. We oh, see yeah. that happen all the time, right? But not oh, when, yeah, yeah not when you're twelve. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see what else did I do? I was in Peter Pan. Okay. Who were you? I was pirate number twelve. <laughs> uh, and we had to do the Tarantella. Do you remember that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, what else did we do? I was Judd Fry in Oklahoma. Oh, Poor Judd, Judd, Judd is dead. dead. Um, yeah, I mean, were I you like a musical theater, or did you just go for? I the was fun? just in theater, period. Oh. I, I yeah. couldn't sing. That so. was my that was my uh, talent at Mark Twain Intermediate School. You had to get in the school on you had to oh, test. Oh, because it was a performing arts. School. Was, yeah, so you got to ah. take two tests. Uh, creative, I took creative writing and drama. And whichever the one, we well, have to score really big on both of them to get in. And then I was strongest in drama. Oh, wow. I believe that. And I didn't want to be. In, I didn't want to be in any play. But in Oliver, I was like the doctor. It was I like, played. I was, I was a, Oliver. You were Oliver. I was little Oliver with my little Oliver, hat and my scar. Oliver. Yeah. Never before had a boy wanted more. <laughs> Wait, you were Oliver. They didn't have a yeah, boy as Oliver. No, I was Oliver. Because you were that good. They're like, well, we gotta get. No, they. Do. I don't know why. Like, <laughs> and and I was Audrey in Little Shop of Horrors, and I would talk like this. Oh my God, Seymour. Like, you know, she's with that little. Yeah, I was in Annie cool. too. Oh, you were. were. I, I, no, uh, in <laughs> in the radio scene, I played the ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what you just I sat think? there and said nothing? Well, no, because uh, apparently there was a ventriloquist with a dummy, and like during the whole like, <laughs> yeah. Siri played the ventriloquist yeah. dummy. <laughs> I was in he sat on my James lap. and the Giant Peach, and I was the centipede, Aww. and I had an understudy. I think I might have told you guys this before, and we had to stand on chairs for this one monologue. Yeah, and she forgot her lines. The understudy. Well, it wasn't even an understudy. There were two performances. She was the other one. She peed. On stage, oh, no. on the chair. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, and then she got off the chair and ran away. So I had to step in and fill for her because we were at the performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, you need to put a new chair out there. Like, I'm not going to go stand on the pee chair. Are you kidding <laughs> me? You. And they gave me so much shit for not standing on the pee chair. Oh. So they had to switch the chair, and I went and stood on it. And it's one of those things where, like, your parents are like, oh, nobody's going to remember this. Oh, I remember it. I remember all of it. I remember her first and last name. I remember the exact incident and how it happened. Oh my that gosh. shit was crazy. Yeah. I'm uh, trying to remember some of those things. Something happened to me. I played, I was Wilhelmina in Dracula, and there was a real pair of scissors on the stage or a real, like a sharp knife or something. And I went to grab it, and it cut my hand. Oh. And I was bleeding on the stage, and I could see the blood dripping. Ah. And I just. Kept on the going. The show must go on. The show must go on. She and then at the end, through the pee. Yeah, well, yeah. and at the end, I was like, well, it was my own blood. Yeah. So at the end, I was like, holy shit. And they had to wrap my hand. Did you get stitches? Like, yeah, no, it wasn't, wasn't that bad. But it was enough to be on the stage. I'm like, sorry, guys. <laughs> Come on. I did the king and I, too. 
You did? Yeah, the king. I uh, the kid. Were you I, the bold guy? No, I was. In, I was one of the kids. The king. Like, like the Yul kids. Brenner. Yeah, <laughs> the kids. Kid. I probably would have been canceled because, like, at the time, like, I mean, I was what eight, nine, but like they made all the kids look like they were the king's kids. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't look like a king's kid, but. They black faced uh, yeah, yeah, brown tan, face. Tan, tan face. Yeah, brown tan faced me. There's the king of Siam, right? Wasn't that? Is that what he was? I, I think it was the king yeah. of Siam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Wow. Theater. So many memories theater. we have. So many <laughs> wonderful well, memories. You can have community theater with your mom. Um, Doesn't she uh, do like the. Oh, the... yeah. I would love to, but I haven't. I haven't. Uh, did, no, my mom. My, so, my this was the first year my mom did some theater with her Golden Age group. She, My mom is. She, I don't know how she got up there because she's the shyest person when it comes to that. But she, she liked it, but I don't think she'd ever do a thing. I, oh, I always thought about. Like joining the community theater, but the problem is, is to have the time. Yeah, all the rehearsals. Well, you would sell out the show. Right. Yeah. The show would sell out. I don't think so. But okay. no, probably <laughs> are you kidding me? But yeah, it is. There's, there's a huge time commitment, and mm-hmm. and I just yeah, you know, I look back at all of the stuff that I used to memorize for those shows. I'm like, how did I do that? I know. Because right? you didn't have anything else in your head. True. Yeah. There's so much more. Like as time goes on, you just have so much more to move around. Mm-hmm. And you know, our brains get weaker. It's all crazy. Those <laughs> <laughs> That's not my case. It's probably not Nate's case either. No, two strokes. That's my excuse. <laughs> oh, Minus weak, Minus weak excuse. Cancer. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Diabetes for me. I mean. How about Thanks you, Scotty? What's your excuse? Um, there uh, it is. All right. He's <laughs> like, get back to me. I got kids. Get back kids. to me. Well, we actually, Scotty and I were talking about sleep deprivation because this morning we were texting back and forth, like, are you coming in? And. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm just exhausted. Like, I don't know if you guys, like, yep. I'm just, like, drained of energy today. Yeah. I can't tell you the last time I got a good night's sleep. I, me neither. Like, I don't sleep more than six hours max every night. Yeah. Max? Oh, max. my God. That's, that's, a, like, that's a lot. Six yeah. hours? Yeah. I'll take yeah. that any night. Well, I, that's also that I get up twice to pee in the middle of the night, so it probably oh, cuts yeah. it down to about five and a half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the worst thing about the weekends, because you're on that, that clock. And mm-hmm. so, like, 4 a.m. comes, and I'm automatically like, shit, now I got to go pee. Mm-hmm. And you can't not do it because your body's used to doing it. So my, you got to get up and do it. My whole life changed when I got blackout shades. For years, I didn't have them. And I need them on Saturdays and Sundays because the sun, sun comes right up, and I face east. And I was up at 6, 6.30 in the morning. I'm like, this is never going to fly anymore. Um, I, it was time. And yeah. I swear to God, now I can sleep till 10, 11 in the morning on a weekend. No problems. I love yeah. those double but digits. Nate, with your sleep deprivation, is it like a, a sustained sleep deprivation or just today? Oh, constantly. I mean, like. Yeah, we're I, all going to die. Yeah. I mean, I think we would, like, when we do get sick, I think we'd be able to heal better if we actually were able to get eight yeah, hours of not. sleep. It just doesn't happen. No. Do you take any sleep aids? I have, but, it, you know, like with. With the time we have to yeah. get up, it's like you're groggy right. if you take it too late. That's or the problem. I can just... never take like NyQuil like when we have to work because I'll never get up. Yeah. If I have a cold and I take that, th- even if I take one, like, you know, it's two pills, but take one pill, I am, um, I'll probably sleep 24 hours. Like what's sleeping in for you on the weekend? I sleep till 7.30 and that's awesome. What? What? Yeah, yeah 7, 7.30. Oh, no, no 9 o'clock. 9, 10, 10 o'clock. o'clock. Yeah. Wow. I'll wake up and like fuck around on my phone for maybe an hour or so and then I just go right back yeah, to sleep. Yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah, yeah I'll so. get up at like 5, 6 and fuck around and then, you yeah, know, I'm usually up by 8.30 at the very latest because yeah, I just can't. Oh, I'm on my fourth episode of Bluey at that time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I was Enjoy chipping being Beauty being and the Beast too. Ah. Wow, you just keep cranking them out. It'll come back. Oh, like you if, were chill. Yeah, let's. Oh. We stay here for an hour. I'll keep on rattling them <laughs> off. I mean. well, Gandhi, look at the look at the picture I sent you. I was guy with broken arm in some show. I don't know what I don't. It was just called. I don't even know what the hell the show guy was. With broken they arm. made up a show just for you. Yeah, pretty much. Scotty. Yeah, I'm Wait, on the was left your there. Arm broken? No, it's just, just the, no. We were all you? you know. Yeah, that's Aww. where that that's where my uh, that's where my hypochondria came from. But if, how's your how's your leg? It's still not healed. He, I don't know. Has he, has he told all of you about his leg? I've seen it. What's yeah. going on? I mean, I'm I, I'm telling you, it was some kind of flesh eating bacteria. And you still haven't gone to a doctor? To I have. I went to a doctor. I went to antibiotics did. and everything. But I'm just saying, you touch it and it still hurts. It hasn't gone away yet. Well, maybe you should go back to the doctor and check it again. I think I have to go to a wound care specialist. A wound was this guy operating a wound care specialist what? for so long and not gone? Was your doctor <sighs> operating out of the trunk of his car? Pretty much. It was one of those, you know, dock in the box joints. <laughs> let me put you in a play, kid. Yeah. You can post a picture of it and just let the listeners diagnose it. What could go wrong? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That'll go swimmingly, swimmingly well. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you. I think that's it for us this week, right? 
Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. 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 Bye, Bye everybody. Wait, just wait like wait like ten more seconds so it could actually be fifteen minutes. Okay. Oh. Your mother. Scary. Yeah. Sing Don Quixote again. <laughs> yeah. Sing us out. Bye, Don Quixote, the Lord of La Mancha. And that'll My do it. <laughs>